Hi everyone, welcome to week three of English class. This week we learned about the verbs to do and to make, and we are going to have some practice conversation and some readings this week, as well as a little video. Okay, here is some practice for you guys of things that we already learned. Um, you can choose the verb like, likes, am, is, or are for these sentences. I, a woman, she, school, my daughter, Brazilian, we, bananas, I, at the restaurant, do you, rice with feijoada, and they, nice people. So choose one word to put in the blank. You can pause. All right. So number one is going to be, I am a woman. Number two, she likes school. We always need the S if we have he, she, or it. My daughter is Brazilian. We like bananas. And so one more thing on pronunciation. In Portuguese, this E sound would sound like likey, but in English, E's at the end of words are silent. So it is we like bananas, no sound. All right, I am at the restaurant. Do you like rice with feijoada? And they are nice people. So we are just practicing the verbs from last week. Okay, so this is a new verb for us. The verb fazer in Portuguese has many, many meanings. But in English, we have two verbs that mean fazer, to do and to make. And so the difference is to do is more about an action. When you are doing something, it is something that you are actively choosing to do. It is an action. For example, to do exercise, to do the dishes, just means an action that you are doing. To make is a little different. To make means more like criar, to create something or to produce something. So for example, to make art, or to make a cake. And we will look at more examples. But so to make is when you create something or you produce something. So with to do, the way that we conjugate or change the verb looks like this. I do, you do, he, she, or it does. We have an extra letter here because we need to have the S, does. We do, they all, you all do. All right, for to make, we will change it like this. I make, you make, he, she, or it makes, we make, they and you all make. So just like always, the verb comes down the same it is only he, she, and it that changes to an S. So now we will practice many examples. So for all of these activities, you can pause the screen and try to guess what you think the answer is. So for this one, it will be she does the laundry. If she made the laundry, it does not make sense. It means she would have to criar her clothes to make them. But she is just doing laundry. He has a job because he wants to make money. So for this one, 
It is a little difficult because we have many expressions. And so this is what we are going to practice. So whenever you see money, it will be make money. Ganya, to make money. I make or do my nails. This one will be I do my nails. Again, this is an expression. We will see. Do my hair, do my makeup, and do my nails are all expressions. They need to make or do a phone call. This one, sometimes it can be both, but usually we will say make a phone call. Again, just another expression. It is okay to make mistakes or do mistakes. This one is make mistakes. Just like make money, we always say make mistakes. Last one, they want to make their best or do their best. This one is do their best. Excellent. All right, she makes or she does the dishes. This one is she does the dishes. Again, it is an action to do dishes, to do laundry, to do things around the house. Actions. I make or I do a cake. This one is make. Everything that you create in the kitchen will be make. I make picanha, I make rice, I make coffee, I make cake. Anything you cook, you are making. I make or I do a paper airplane. This one will also be make because whenever we have art, we are creating art. We will say make. I make a paper airplane. I make drawing, something like that. All right, you make exercise at the gym or you do exercise at the gym. This will be do exercise. We always say do exercise. I need to do more exercise. Okay, so here is a list. Now we looked at some, maybe you already knew, maybe you are familiar with these expressions. Here is a complete list. So doing the laundry, doing the dishes, doing work, like today I need to do a lot of work. Porque es trabajo. Do a good job is an expression. I really want to do a good job at work. I want to do a good job on my project. Or you can say to someone, do good today. Okay, do exercise at the gym. Do your hair, do your nails, do your makeup, and do your best. Similar to do a good job. I want to do my best in English class. And if we want to do a couple examples with the expression we learned last week, have to, we could use an example like this. I have to do the laundry today. Eu tenho que fazer. I have to do it. This is a good way to practice. So if you want to pause and think of a couple examples. All right, we can say you have to do your nails. You have to do your nails. They're so empty. They don't have any paint. Or we have to do our hair. We have to do our hair before the wedding. Antes de o casamento, before the wedding. Beautiful. Okay, great.
So now some common expressions with make. There are many, many, many. Make breakfast, make lunch. Today, I will make dinner for myself. Make a cup of coffee. In the morning, I like to make my coffee. Make a reservation. Can you call the restaurant and make a reservation for us? Make money. I need a job so I can make money. Make friends. When I arrived at university, I was nervous I was not going to make friends. I had to make a lot of friends so I could feel so I could feel happy. Make a phone call. Oops, sorry, I need to make a phone call. Antenna. Make a point means like, so here we start to see some more, more ideas. So these are not something that you literally make, but these are expressions that we use in English. So to make a point means to emphasize something. Yesterday, she made a point that we need to be more focused in class. My teacher made a point and she said, you guys need to focus. It is when you emphasize something. Make a promise. I promise that I will get you a dog. I promise. I make a promise. To make a mistake. To um, oh, se errado, como to make a mistake. I'm sorry. I make mistakes sometimes when I speak Portuguese, but it is okay to make mistakes. Make progress means you have a goal, um, objetivo, and you are making progress every day, a little by little. You make progress towards your goal. Make plans. I would like to go to Salem, Massachusetts this weekend. I need to make some plans with my friends to organize a plan. Make a choice. So when you are thinking about your options or suas opções, you need to make a choice when you choose when you decide. Make a list. Um, today I will make a to-do list. Uma lista de que tenho que fazer. Make a list. Or maybe your family makes a grocery list. Before you go to the supermarket, you make a list of what you need to buy. Make a difference. Make a difference is similar to faz uma diferencia, como to make a difference in the world, in your community. Or maybe you say, oh, should we, should we paint our nails? No, I do not think it will make a difference. It doesn't matter. No é importante. Make a difference. Se é importante ou não. Make a sound. So maybe you hear a really loud noise and you said, what made that sound? What is making all of that noise so loud? And lastly, one more example, make sure. Está seguro. To make sure. I need to make sure my children do their homework. I need to make sure. All right, so these are all expressions that we can just memorize and practice, practice. Also, if you guys want to go back in the video and practice again, Genovo, with these, I recommend. Okay, so now we will do some more practice. You can pause. Okay. It is difficult to make friends. It is difficult to make friends in a new place. Number two, I want to stay home 
and do nothing today. I am so tired. I don't want to do any actions. I don't want to do laundry or clean or cook. I'm so tired. I want to do nothing. Nada. English classes, number three, make me happy. And so here, classes is plural. We have many. So it's really like saying they. They make me happy. Next page, pause. All right. I do my hair every day in the morning. I do my hair. Number two, sorry. <laughs> I can't do my exercise because my foot hurts. I can't do my exercise, my foot hurts. Number two or three, I will make a reservation at the restaurant. Make a reservation. Make a reservation. Excellent. Okay. Now we will read a short story together. So, first, I wake up. And if you guys want while I read, you can pause and repeat. Because that helps with pronunciation. All right. It makes me feel happy to see the sun through my window. I make my bed, then I brush my teeth. And so here we are looking for examples. Examples onde as palavras são usadas. As palavras make e do. Okay? So for, so pause. And look for make and do. Onde se usado? Where are they used? We have it makes me feel happy. And we have make my bed. So these are two examples of where you see make. Me fascinche makes me feel. And I make my bed in the morning. Okay. Good. I make my coffee every day. I like my coffee with cream and sugar. Next, I do my hair and I do my makeup. I hope I do not make a mistake. So I hope I do not make a mistake and mess up my makeup. All right, so thinking, pause, where are do and make used in these sentences? We have make coffee. We have do my hair. We have do my makeup. And we have make a mistake. We also say do not which we will talk about later. Well, excellent. Make coffee, doing hair, doing makeup, making mistakes. Okay. Today, I have a lot to do. I have to do laundry, clean the house, and make dinner for my children. So pause, look for examples of do and make. We have a lot to do. Nós temos muito que fazer. A lot to do. Doing laundry and make dinner are all examples of do and make. Okay. Now we can read the whole story together. First, I wake up. It makes me feel happy to see the sun through my window. I make coffee every day. I like my coffee with cream and sugar. Next, I do my hair and I do my makeup. 
I hope I do not make a mistake. Today, I have a lot to do. I have to do laundry, clean the house, and make dinner for my children. Okay, so now an activity. What do you do every day? I want you to use one of the verbs like, do, or make. So for example, every day or todos los días, every day I do my hair. I always wake up and do my hair. And so let's write three sentences, escribir, to practice. And if you want to ever send me text messages with example sentences, você pode mandar um mensagem. Eu posso ler e um, give suggestions. Perfect. So some other examples. I like to go to the park. I make a grocery list. I make breakfast. I make rice. I do exercise. I like to walk. I make money at my job. All right, so these are some examples. Okay, so now I would like to share a video with everyone. The things I want you to think about. What are the people in the video doing? And how do the moms make their children feel? So the children feel some emotion because of their moms. How do the moms make their children feel? So we will watch this video together. So that was a very sweet video that they played at the Olympics. And so how, let's see, how do the children feel? What do the moms do? So think about these questions, pause. All right, how do the children feel? I think the children, feel scared sometimes, or they feel nervous. 
What do the moms do? The moms make them feel calm. As mais fazem que eles sentam mais tranquilos, mais relaxados e seguros, não? Calm, safe, cared for. Cuidado por. Cared for. Do you like this video? I like this video because it is beautiful. It has an important message about family. About your family, no? About family. Very good. And so here we have an example. Make someone feel is another way that we use make. Going to school makes me feel tired, but it also makes me feel very happy. Okay. And let's see. Okay. Okay, so now, if you would like a challenge, oh, algo un poco más difícil, I have an extra reading. We read it in class, but here it is again. So this is a little more difficult. How to learn a language. If you want to learn a new language, there are many things you can do. Number one, make time to learn. You probably have a lot of work to do and many chores to do in your house, but making time to learn is very important. You should spend 30 minutes practicing the language each day. Number two, do your best. Even if it can make you feel scared to speak, it is important to take opportunities to practice. It's okay to not be perfect when you are trying to do something new. Making mistakes helps us grow. And number three, make learning fun for yourself. Play games, read interesting books, and visit new places. Make friends who speak the language if you can. Do activities that are meaningful and interesting to you. So this reading is a little more difficult. I recommend that you search for vocabulary words that are diff that are new and different. For example, chores. Chores means things that you do in the house. Like doing laundry, like doing the dishes, like sweeping and vacuuming and cleaning. These are chores. Okay, so you guys can search for new vocabulary words here. Number two, I recommend that you find all of the examples of do and make and make a list. Eu recomendo que você faça uma lista de onde se usado to do and to make. Okay? So pause. Okay. There are many things you can do. So just like como will say thank you fazer, you have to do. You can also say can do. Que pode fazer. Next, make time. Make time. You need to make time to go to the grocery store. And you need to make time to learn the language, for example. You probably have a lot of work to do. Many chores to do. So doing chores is another one. But again, making time is very important. 
Okay. Next example, do your best, do your best. Even if it can make you feel scared to speak, it is important to take opportunities to practice. When you are, here we go, trying to do something new. So today I want to do something new, novel, something new. Making mistakes, make mistakes, making mistakes helps us grow. Oh, crecer, melhorar, helps us get better, improve. Next, make learning fun. Similar to making someone feel scared, you can make something scary or you can make something fun. So maybe it is boring to, maybe you do not like washing the dishes, but you make it fun by listening to music. All right, make friends who speak the language, make friends. And last, do activities. Do activities that are meaningful. Que significa muito, that are important to you and interesting. All right, so that is a good practice. And that is what we did this week. We learned to do and to make. We did conversation, we did readings, and we watched a video. So please send me messages if you have any questions um, or if you would like to meet to practice some things. Okay, thank you everyone, bye.